Hi everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to create some folders which act like inventory containers within vSphere in order to be able to organize some of our other objects. We're going to be working from within our vCenter client. I'm going to start with hosts and clusters and in the data center I'm going to right click we can see that there's a thing called new folder and we want to create a new hosts and clusters folder. We're going to call this lab servers. And we're going to put both of our ESXi hosts into that folder. All we have to do is click and drag and drop. And those two hosts are now inside that folder. If I expand the folder, we can see the hosts. The advantage of doing something like this is I can now manage um, privileges to control and maintain and administer these hosts on the folder and they will automatically apply to the hosts. We can do the same thing with just about everything, but for now we're going to work with some VMs. Going to click on the virtual machines tab. I'm going to right click on, again, the data center, new folder, and I'm going to choose new VM and template folder. We're going to call this one lab VMs. And then we're also going to have a lab templates folder. So again, right click on the data center, new folder, new VM. We'll name this one templates. If I expand out my data center, we can see that we've got our two folders we created, lab VMs and templates. And then we have three virtual machines that were previously created. Like we did with the hosts, we're going to take each one of these virtual machines. We're going to drag and drop it onto lab VMs. Just to show another method, I can also right click on whatever the object is, move the folder, choose the folder, in this case, lab VMs, and say, OK, so just a different method other than drag and drop. That is all we're going to be doing for containers at this point in time. So that's a wrap for the video. Hopefully this has been helpful for you and we'll see you next time.